Hi folks, my name's Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira and today I'm going to cover just a few of the new things in Construct 3 release 308. Let's jump in. First of all, we've got a improvement to the timeline feature called Auto Keyframing. So here's just a very simple example of a timeline and traditionally to make edits you would use the uh, set keyframes button uh, and change the time and set keyframes again and then this would create a very simple timeline animation. Now just to make this easier what you can do I'm just going to undo those changes is enable the new auto keyframes mode and now what happens is as soon as you make changes it automatically inserts a keyframe for you so this is just a really nice convenience feature to make it easier to create your timeline animations and that includes adding new property tracks when you change things like the angle which wasn't previously uh, a track on the timeline so now you can see the result of that timeline that's auto keyframing in a nutshell while I'm here I'm also going to quickly highlight that when you export a project there's new image format options here which you can change to WebP this is a more modern format than PNG and JPEG uh, it's about 30% smaller than PNG for lossless images so that's pixel perfect identical images and it's better quality than JPEG for lossy uh, so you can give that a go if you'd like to try out that new image format moving on there's a new feature available for functions um, let me open this project to demonstrate and I'm done with the timeline so here I've got some piggy sprites and I've got a event here which says when I left click on a piggy it'll make it flash uh, this function calls disabled for now so ignore that and when I preview this project you can see that this action works as expected uh, when I click on the piggy it flashes now let's change this to call a function now it calls a function which does the same thing but in the past this has reset which objects are picked so this will go back to affecting all the piggies and you can see this if I now click on a piggy they all flash regardless of which one I pick on to solve this problem you can now set a function to copy picked that's this new option here when I tick that it will use the picked piggies from the event which calls it so essentially this action here which calls the function will remember which piggies are picked from this event and apply them when using this action here and you can see it says copy picked in the function block here now when I preview the project it works like I expected before so that's a useful new option for handling functions with picking of uh, instances as well next up there's an improvement to drawing canvas so by popular demand uh, there's a new fixed resolution mode for drawing canvas to demonstrate this I've just got a really quick uh, demo project here this box here um, this yellow box is a drawing canvas and this is the default uh, which is automatic resolution mode if I click I can paste in a sprite there and when I increase the scale of the layer it automatically adjusts the drawing canvas resolution uh, to the new size and you can see that actually clears it because it creates a new surface but the benefit of that is when I paste again you can see the resolution of the piggy um, is good quality because it's got the full resolution of the display there the new option is the fixed resolution mode so uh, there's a new property for this here I can change automatic to fixed and by default it will use the size of the object so that will create a 100 by 100 surface and it won't change that depending on the scale and you can see this in action now if I uh, click on the canvas to paste a piggy and as I increase the scale uh, it keeps the content of the drawing canvas but you can also see how the quality hasn't increased because it's just stretching the same uh, 100 by 100 image uh, larger to the display so those are two modes they have their own trade-offs uh, sometimes you want fixed resolution mode sometimes you might want automatic resolution mode that uh, is up to you now uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to cover in this video other than to mention that uh, Android support has been updated to support Android 12 uh, and meet the new Google Play publishing requirements and you can see all the intervening release notes for all the updates we've made in between and check the release notes on the release page uh, for even more details. Thank you and we hope you enjoy this release.